that's just for like private occasions really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to say Ingzy for me. He'd be good for entertainment because he can he can play the guitar. Apparently he's done a bit of cooking lately, so it would be quite handy to have around the house. I feel absolutely honoured that James would spend his time with me. I'd have to say the worst roommate from this squad, I think, would be Musa. I sit next to him in the changing rooms, and every two minutes he has his phone in my face on Snapchat. I would say Prosy probably gets there four hours before. Yeah, I was going to say and that. And then it's like 23 minutes too. Then he'll get up, <laughs> put his flip-flops on, left and right foot, go to the physio room, do his stuff in there. And it's just like clockwork. He's got it down to a T. It's, um, mm. Actually, I like watching it because it's just it's a beautiful thing. I think um, if it's to win it, it's got to be, you know, Mr. Mr. Club, Southampton, James Wood Prowse, isn't it? Nah, I thought he was going to say then. Oh, yeah. I think he, he would take the first one for me. I'd let Ingsy think... step up first, set the, ter- set the tone. I think Prowse, he comes with the winner and then does a little knee slide to the corner and sort of, you know, punches the corner flag. One of them ones, you know? He's good at stealing penalties, isn't he, James? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably say maybe Jan Valery. Just wouldn't fancy him taking it. I just I haven't got a reason. I'm just a bit nervous watching that one, I suppose. But I just can't imagine him over a penalty. So I'm going to say, <laughs> sorry, Jan, <laughs> if you ever watch this. <laughs> Absolutely brutal, but I can't see it. There's a few. There's a few. There's a few love triangles as well. <laughs> uh, some of which I'm not proud of. And, uh, Danny and James is a strong one, but um, Danny likes to float around the group, much to the Man disgust of, people, of James. Yeah. My mate Yannick, obviously a really good connection there, much to the dismay of the other lads. Bertie and Nathan, so I would say that's probably number one yeah. actually. Inseparable, mm. always found together. Yeah, they just really love each other. I think I'd be a golfer. Um... I'd definitely be in the building industry, probably developing. I'd also be probably the best fisherman on the south coast. Yeah, Danny, what does your chef cook for you? Ooh, oh, whoa. Bit of bait in that. I'll get that one again. Yeah. I can't believe you just said that, Angus. It's a bit <laughs> unfair. Uh, I had fish and chips Saturday night, just got <gasps> That was probably <gasps> Who would do that? Yeah, last one, yeah. What was it you had last night, Stu? Was it a, a wild boar ravioli? Um, no, it was um, <laughs> a glass of the 93 uh, vintage <laughs> rouge wine. I don't know why James brought the wild boar ravioli into the conversation. I told him that in confidence this morning. <laughs> you no, did. no, you didn't. That's it. That's, uh, I'll say Ingsy. I love you, James. I would say I would probably say Yannick um, and I and with me on his back <laughs> I tell you it wouldn't be it wouldn't be me <laughs> <laughs>